Hello everyone, welcome again to Tesla's tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can import test cases from uh, the Excel sheet or spreadsheet into test Lodge. So we have already seen uh, the test suite and uh, then in the test suite, how you can create uh, the test cases manually, right? So uh, in the test suite, you can create uh, different sections. And then within that section, you can click on new test case button at the bottom to create the new test case manually. Now, many times you might have uh, the test cases uh, that are available in the Excel sheet or you are using another t tool with from where you have exported the test cases into Excel sheet and you want to import it into test lodge. So how you can do that? It's pretty simple and easy process. So um, to import uh, the test cases, simply you have to, you know, click on uh, these ellipses here in the test suite and then click on import test cases. Now, prior to going through this demo, I'll uh, walk you through the blog that is available on the test lodge website, which is importing the test cases into test lodge, which explains this import process um, pretty, uh, you know, in a simple and straightforward manner. So the first thing to remember here is that you have to import the test cases from Google Docs, right? So you can't have the standalone spreadsheet. If you are having a, a standalone spreadsheet, you have to first upload the spreadsheet to google dot doc and then you have to authorize your test lodge uh, you know your google doc account uh, to the test lodge and then the key sections that need to be there in your spreadsheet are uh, basically the sections that we have seen the title description steps and the expected results right so these are the uh, sections that need to be there in your test case as well because if we go through a particular test case you will see that we have you know the title then the description steps and expected results and these are the details that will get imported from the spreadsheet all right so let me go ahead and first thing is basically this is the standalone sheet so what i'll do is i'll simply copy these test cases from standalone sheet and will prepare a sheet in Google Doc. Okay, so I'll simply paste all the test cases there in the Google Docs so that we can easily import these. All right, so let me, it is already saving, right? So now this sheet is available, sample test cases sheet is available in Google Docs. So let me go back to test lodge and because the test cases will be imported into the test suite so you have to basically come to the test suite and open the test suite where you want to import these particular test case so i have opened the login test suite as of now just to show you the demo of importing the test cases uh, scroll down a little bit and click on the ellipses and click on import test cases now here you will be redirected to the import test case window and you can import test cases from google docs this is the first information that you will get you cannot import from the standalone spreadsheet so google docs is where you have to basically you know um, create your sheet so if you have standalone csv or excel first you convert it to google spreadsheet or import into the spreadsheet and then the second step is we'll authorize our google account with the test lodge okay so i'll simply click on authorize and i'll choose this account and then you will see that this will allow test lodge to see the uh, google drive file just allow the access read the details allow the access and now you can see as soon as i have allowed the access to my Google spreadsheet, I am into the next section. And there is a sample test cases sheet that is already available because I have already authorized test lodge with my Google Docs account. And there is a sample test cases sheet that I created, which has all these details, right? So I'll simply select this. Okay, so this sheet is the sheet that contains the test cases. The third step is uh, basically, you know, if you want to ignore the first row, so which is 
what we want to do because first row is basically the title description so i don't want to import this first row because each row in this particular sheet is considered as a test case in test logic okay so this row is the test case so the title of the test case will be this title then the description then these steps and the expected result okay so there are basically four test cases in this particular sheet so each row is a test case and I, I don't want to import this first row so what I'll do is I'll simply ignore the first row I'll select it as yes okay and then you have to map which column maps to which field in your particular test case right so uh, column a we have to see yes it is the title b is the description c is the test steps and d is the expected result right so c is test step and d is the expected result so you, we it automatically maps this in in similar way but you have to say for example you have your test steps in the uh, in column b then you have to basically make sure that the columns are being mapped correctly in this particular step because the data will be imported accordingly right so once you are satisfied with the step 3 and mapping you simply click on import spreadsheet right and you will see that starting import will start let it finish and it depends how much data you have and based on that basically it will take that particular amount of time all right so now you can see the import has been completed the import completed less than a minute ago and these are the four rows that got imported right because we deselected this first row right we don't want to import these headings and you can see that there are no failed rows and four rows got imported okay so let's go back to the test suite and see the test cases that got imported right so here you can see that it created a new section sample test cases which is same name as the spreadsheet name that we took and if you expand you will see all the four test cases have been imported right so you'll see the description the title uh, is this title the description um, the steps and the expected result right so there is a some you know number uh, issue here so which is might be because of the formatting yes it is the formatting issue basically so if if it is not formatted properly then you will find these you know uh, different issues within the import so you have to make sure there are no spaces because there was no space in the first line but then there was there were a couple of spaces in the second third and fourth line and that is why uh, this numbering you know like first it started from one and then again one two three right so these are the little things that you have to keep in mind when you are importing the test cases but importing test cases in test lodge is very very easy process you simply have to uh, import the test cases or import the standalone spreadsheet into your google docs and then authorize your google doc account with test lodge and go to the uh, test suite where you want to import these test cases and simply click on import and it will import the test cases based on the mapped column in the spreadsheet into test lodge successfully and very easily so that's all for this tutorial about importing test cases into test lodge from google spreadsheet hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching